What's up, everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today. Things just got real, real good for my 150 gallon reef tank. That's right, picked up the Aquatic Life 60 inch T5 hybrid light four lamp 80 watt each for my 150 watt, uh, 150 gallon reef tank. It's gonna be sweet once it's on it's not my first time using t5 though guys uh, i do want to show you my current or should i say my old setup i was running two uh two uh t5 bulbs coral plus and ati blue plus um and they were doing good 54 watts each and uh, this is my setup diy ugly as hell but it got the job done and uh can't wait to get this new fixture going on this tank now they were gonna come out with a brand new aquatic life uh, fixture uh, all the bells and whistles single plug all that fancy stuff and uh, I contacted aquatic life I told them what I wanted to do they said that the uh, reef breeder uh, was too wide for the new fixture um, I did pick up this fixture from Marine Depot and as you can see it's a still a little bit too narrow for my uh, Reef Breeders Photon version 2 light. This is the 50 inch. Now if you pick it up from, uh, from if you pick up this Aquatic Life fixture from Reef Breeders they actually sell you all the components that you need and it'll fit your Photon perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center my light on top of the fixture itself. I'm going to keep the actual hanging harness and attach it to the Aquatic Life rails that I use for my uh, lights. I've been using the Aquatic Life rails uh, for a long time since the beginning of my tank. And in fact, my old light fixture with the T5 ballast and everything was Aquatic Life. So I've been doing aquatic life for a long time in fact they were one of my first lights which was actually a t5 aquatic life four bulb uh, fixture old school but uh so that's why i like aquatic life i've had them for a while and uh, it's a good company and i've actually used them for quite a bit i'm not insta famous so i don't get stuff for free i'm not uh you know all that on youtube either i just like to do my videos so when I tell you about products, uh, I pretty much have to pay for most of my stuff. Now, I do want to show you guys my uh, tank. The stuff that I used last time called F Aptasia. I nuked my Lagoon and now I nuked my uh, 150 gallon with it. And you can see all those spots. I had a lot of Aptasia all over the place and I used that syringe. And I covered them all up without the flow. Now, as you can see, the rockscape is a lot different as well. And I'm really happy with the way that it came out. Um, and I can't wait for the corals and the SPS to grow onto it. Um, you know, I'm not really that great with the aquascaping, but I do like the way that everything look, came out. And as you can see, those big old white blobs or globs of uh, that F Aptasia. It's still there. That's where I had Aptasia all over the place. And uh, I still have some pieces that I've missed. I'll siphon these things out later. But for the time being, I'm just going to leave them covered up. But anyways, let's take a look at some of the sticks and see how my SPS are turning out. Uh, for the longest time, I've been nothing but a Zoa guy. And I'm starting to get into the SPS, starting to dabble in that. And I like... The way that everything's coming out uh, i'm totally a bad reefer uh, because i'm not testing my alk i do have the alk test and all that I just don't do it i know that alk is something that you should at least test once twice a week uh, but right now i just haven't this piece right here is my walt disney uh, when i got it, it was a lot green and i'm hoping that it's starting to turn a little bit golden um i forgot the name of that sps now my uh, digi that i picked up from alan who works at the coral reef and who i recorded his beast of a tank him and his brother's tank uh, he gave me that digi right there and i nearly killed it i 
I pretty much killed it. He gave me a big chunk of it. And uh, that's like the only surviving piece that is starting to bounce back after all that terrible uh, torture that I pitted through. Now I'm pretty happy with uh, doing my water change. I haven't done a water change in a while. And I'm going to do a 15 gallon water change. And this has taken me years and years of uh, spilt water all over the place to finally get it down and perfect that. And I'm going to show you, share with you guys uh, a little secret on how to make your life easy, how to be prepared, and that is using these hose, these clamps. Uh, you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's for a dollar, and get yourself a brute container. Pre-measure your container with a five gallon bucket you know 5 10 15 20 etc and uh use a siphon don't ever suck from a hose from your saltwater tank because you will get effed up i know from when i had my 180 gallon i self siphoned uh, a whole bunch of salt water into my mouth and you know what i had diarrhea for like a whole week and a half and it was vicious but anyways that's just me some of you guys need to learn the hard way and I know I do now let me just cover this light real quick the way that my lights were hung they weren't hung directly over the reef tank at all and so mainly the backside where the SPS were at they were getting all the light the T5 was supplement but it wasn't wasn't you know covering up everything as I showed you these wheels they're 30 something bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot and they're well worth it. Um, it's, it's way better than dragging a heavy brute container around with water and you can just you know gently push it with your fingertips and move it. And as I mentioned I'm just trying to share with you the information that has taken me at least six seven years to figure out how not to make a mess uh, when you're doing water changes. I didn't even use the towel today. Now I do want to cover that this is not actually dry rock, you know, it is actually rock that's been sitting in my sump, started as dry rock, but has been in my sump uh, since I broke down the 180. I just had so much rock from the 180 that I just didn't want to get rid of it, so I had it, you know, in the uh, sump. And as you can see, there's some more of that Aptasia. F Aptasia product and after you let it cure for over 20 minutes like 20 25 minutes it requires 15 but did 20 25 minutes it'll be hard and uh, it's not going anywhere but I've got a lot of things that I did today did my water change uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit the store up in a little bit um, because I want to get some new uh, animals I want to get some new fish for this tank uh, I've been using getting nothing but corals which is fine with me but you know I wanted a little bit more movement in this tank so I'm gonna go to the store I'm gonna go visit my buddy Alan at the coral reef and uh, pick up a few fish but at first I just want to tell you um, talk about this high door pump that I've been using I did a video on it and it's been working pretty good. It's tied into my algae turf scrubber. And the algae turf scrubber is growing pretty well. And uh, everything is going good. The only complaint that I've noticed is the five minute feed mode. Now, it's great that it has a five minute feed mode. But the way the work around that is I, when I'm doing my water changes, it usually takes me at least. 10 15 minutes and that's moving getting it all done and everything so what i did is i hit the five the five minute feed mode to siphon out all the water right and it'll flash like when it's on the feed mode but then you hit it again before the five minutes is up so that way it doesn't kick start and just start pumping water back into the tank because i do have it cranked up pretty good so I'll hit it, I'll let it start up a little bit again, and then I'll hit it again. And I do that like twice, and I'm good to go, guys. That's my only complaint. I love the pump, it's working good, and uh, it's a great pump. And Hydor is actually coming out with a new protein skimmer, which I'm interested on. I'm trying to get my hands on that. 
and it's gonna be pretty sweet and if I get it of course I'll hook you guys up with a good video on that but as you guys watch this video don't feel bad at all I know that you see me doing a water change you guys probably haven't done a water change in like six months but uh, I'm right around there with you guys um, I did a little bit of water change and today 15 gallons I probably won't do another one for at least a month and a half but we'll see I'll try to be a little bit more dedicated but as you can see got some fish from my buddy Alan uh, chocolate tang and a scopus and some snails guys I'll give you guys an update on the lagoon you can see it's pretty jam-packed in there and I'll give you a proper update but make sure you hit that like button subscribe and we'll see you on the next one